and welcome to Kit Goo's Top 5 Keyboards of 2020. You're here with me, Christina, and I'm really excited to look back on what gems we have found this year. If you're needing some buying inspiration, or maybe you just want to see what 2020 had to offer, then you're in the right place. Before we dive in though, please hit that subscribe and the bell button below because it really helps support us for free. We love hearing from you, good or bad, so feel free to comment down below as well. While you're there, check out our merch. You won't be disappointed, okay? So let's start at number five. This keyboard might have less, but sometimes less is definitely more. The slogan for this keyboard being pro level keyboard for all level gamers for the best bang for buck with no excuses. It was released at the end of April 2020. At the time of this review, it is still being sold at around 99 euros, so roughly 90 pounds. Have you guessed it? Well, we are talking about the ExtraFi K4 RGB TKL mechanical keyboard, and it is in fifth place on our best of 2020 list here, and here are a few reasons. Let's start with some key specs. 10 key less design, it has mechanical Kel red switches with a 70 million click lifespan. They are also dampened silent switches. Per key RGB at 16.8 million colors, a full N key rollover and 100% anti-ghosting. A thousand hertz polling rate. The weight of this one is 1.05 kilograms, dimensions 1.5 inches by 14 inches by 5.55. The Extrafy K4 RGB TKL is available in three colorways, black, white and retro. We really like the retro style here as it's something a little bit different from the norm and it brings a little bit of that nostalgia out but whilst having that luxury of an up-to-date tech inside. The entire board feels really premium with that metal plate construction, a nice space saving technique being used here by utilizing those function keys to give you access to multiple options through the same key. Every F key can be used for media keys and more, as well as dedicated shortcuts for opening your default apps for things like Windows, Media Player, emails, your web browser, even the calculator. You can change these keys too, as they are removable. Underneath, we have the mechanical Kale Red RGB switches. These switches are smooth too. Andy said that they are smoother than his own keyboard's Cherry MX Red switches, and much quieter too, especially the spacebar, enter, and back space keys. Plugging in the K4, the RGB TKL blew Andrew's mind. The 16.8 million colour RGB is pretty nice and he did say this is the best RGB he had ever seen on any keyboard regardless of price. Tons of RGB options to choose from too. On the right hand side, you can change these options via the function button, arrow keys and keys above too. You can change from wave, breathing, custom, colour zones, fixed colours, touch effects, along with brightness effects, speed and so much more. Very easy to do and it doesn't require software. So there is some reasons why we love the ExtraFi K4 RGB TKL. Let us know if you agree down in the comments. Again, if you want to see the full review, make sure you check it out here on Kit Guru. Next up, we have number four. We have a Mecha Membrane keyboard coming in at £99.99. At the time of this video, of course, the version one of this was extremely popular amongst users. If you've watched my previous reviews, then I'll give you a hint. I use a lot of this brand's products myself. Give up? I'm talking about the Ornator version 2 Mecha by Razer. This keyboard surprised me massively and I certainly was not expecting a Mecha membrane keyboard to make it into our list. As Razer themselves say, and I have to agree, the hybrid switches merge the benefits of membrane keys and mechanical switches into one singular design. But before we get into some of the reasons for our choices, here are some main features. This is a full-size keyboard. It has Razer hybrid Mecha membrane switches, fully programmable keys with on the fly macro recording, N key rollover and a thousand hertz ultra polling, two pounds or 0.9 kilograms in weight there, 1.2 inches by 18.1 inches by 6.1 inches is the dimensions for you there. This keyboard has it all really. It's comfortable, it has all the keys and functions that you would expect from a decent gaming keyboard. 
but the experience is what really sets it apart. The Ornata version 2 offers a great typing and gaming experience, which is down to the combination of a clicky start to the actuation and a soft cushion touch at the end. The software is also very cool with lighting effects, you have a lot to choose from, but there is also the fact that Razer have a list of integrated games, including things like Apex Legends, Fortnite, Warframe, Overwatch, Remnant from the Ashes, Final Fantasy, Black Desert, to name a few. The Ornata version 2 is also compatible with Razer Chroma RGB backlighting, which gives you far more customizable lighting options than just the usual Razer Synapse alone. The reason why we believe that this one is in front of the Extrafy K4 RGB TKL in spot number four is because it offers a little more in terms of diversity. I think for breaking the stigma and bringing a whole new experience around membrane and the fact that it delivers on specs and features, all for a pretty reasonable price, might I say, means that the Ornator version 2 Mecha membrane deserves its spot in our list at number four. Moving on to third place, we have another TKL keyboard tanky less specifically towards FPS gaming. The price currently is around a 130 pounds. Any ideas on what it might be? Well, it's the Asus ROG Strix Scope TKL Deluxe Keyboard. You're either a lover or hater when it comes to TKL, but there are reasons for it being mentioned here in third place. First, let's look at the main points. 14 inches by 5.3 by 1.5 inches. TKL design, so 10 key less design, 811 grams is this keyboard weight here. It has an aluminium faceplate, per key RGB, 100% anti-ghosting and N key rollover, and your choice of Cherry MX switches. With a simple design, including wrist rest and great specs, there isn't much more that you could ask for, but to come third, you have to do a little better than that. The Scope Deluxe has a lovely top plate made out of a single piece of aluminium, which adds that strength, texture, and style. The build quality is a real big bonus here too. We still have all the functionalities of a normal, decent keyboard too, as this 10 keyless keyboard has media keys over the F keys and some nifty little shortcuts that toggle between the media settings. There is one other thing along the same lines, the instant privacy key over F12. Thus pressing this button instantly mutes all audio, hides all apps with no animation, so it's instant, and brings you to the desktop. Pressing it again restores everything to its previous state so audio is unmuted and all your windows will pop back up. We have on-the-fly macro recording and also you can adjust the RGB using your keyboard alone without software. The cherry on top for Andy was the switches though. The Scope TKL Deluxe comes in a variety of Cherry MX RGB mechanical switches. It's available in Cherry MX Red, Brown, Blue, Speed Silver and Silent Red. Each colour choice has different specifications but our model came with reds. This makes gaming on the scope a dream and you can choose exactly the type of switch that you prefer. You have five onboard profiles on the keyboard and these can be configured via the profile tab in the armory. You can assign different functions to any key you like and more. The lighting tab lets you also adjust a variety of preset options as well as custom options including LED brightness, speed, RGB direction and more. To be in third place you have to offer for more than just good specs and that is exactly what this keyboard has done. Oh well we're getting close to the top now because we're going to be talking about number two. Again if you haven't seen the full in-depth reviews of these items make sure that you go and check them out here on KitGuru by just typing in the search bar the name of the item you want to see. Who do you think deserves the silver and gold medal then? Let us know down in the comments, but for now on to number two, second place. So we've gone from small to big and now we are looking at a keyboard that can pull bits off of it, stick bits onto it, make it exactly what you want. The brand says a mechanical keyboard with modularity and customization unlike any other that will help you reach your summit. This keyboard takes us on a hike up to the peak of excellence and it's reflected in the cost of $225.99. I've dropped you a few hints there and of course I'm talking about the new company Mountain and their keyboard the Everest Max. But first here is a few points for the Everest Max. 
full N key rollover, 1000 hertz, one millisecond polling rate and response time, hot swappable switches in your choice of Cherry MX switches, media controls via the F, N key and numbers or via the media control dock, modular design, number pad that can be attached on either side of the 10 key less keyboard or away from the keyboard via a USB-C extension cable. And the dimensions are 265 by 46 by 43 millimeters. The weight is 1.3 kilos. The Everest Max has done so well at getting into our number two position because it's a brand new company and they are up against some really big names. So I'm really glad to see them doing so well here. And this gets the silver as it has all the bells and whistles a premium keyboard should have. And if this is second place, I can't wait to share our top spot with you today. So the Everest Max comes with the main TKL board, your choice of Cherry MX switches, plus the modular accessories such as that number pad with full programmable display keys, media dock and palm rest. You can put the number pad on either side of the keyboard, left or right, and the same can be said about that media dock, which means it doesn't matter if you're left or right handed or ambidextrous, you can customise this setup to suit you. Inside the box, it's you get so much, it's like Christmas. The number pad, the media dock, a box of customization options, which includes a switch and keycap puller, magnetic feet to extend the height of the keyboard, and that number pad, we also get one of each Cherry MX switch type. I really like that they included this. Since the switches are hot swappable, you can test each type to see if you like them before potentially buying a whole set. It also has a removable cable, so they've been listening to everybody, by including a removable cable. The media dock is awesome too, by the way. There is a control dial to the right that has a display in the center of it. The control dial has up to eight options to scroll through. All of these can be tweaked via the software too. Aesthetically, this keyboard is just perfect with a lovely brushed aluminum finish in black where the keys are and there is a lowered stage that has been CNC milled, giving it a great swirl effect. Design-wise, this isn't your average full-size keyboard due to its modular design. It does have a unique look because of the media dock that tips towards the top of the keyboard, but also because of that 10 key less size palm rest. Also, the perky RGB LEDs as well as a 360 degree light bar. It's really pretty and it looks great. So this keyboard really has it all. I can't stress enough and I don't think I really need to say why this keyboard is at number two. It's here because it offers everything, such as great specs, build quality and design, but it also has even more unique selling points. That media dock, a removable cable, hot swappable switches, all things that make a good keyboard great. Let us know if you think that second place is the right place for it. Wow, so that was an amazing keyboard. Can we really get much better at the top spot? Oh, I don't know. So a price tag of $229.99 and the strap line for this one is no competition. The company says that it is the centerpiece of your setup. This company's products over the years have won thousands of media and industry awards. It looks like they will be getting another one here at Kit Guru today. However, this is a first for even this company, a brand new 2020 addition to this company's collection. Their first First keyboard to have OPX switches along with Axon hyper processing that has most likely given it away. I'm talking about, brrrm, that's my drum roll, the Corsair K100. So fellow kit gurus, we have ourselves a winner. The K100 takes the gold. Before we go in too deep though, here's a few key specs. This keyboard has six macro keys compatible with Elgato Stream Deck software, up to 200 onboard profiles, Corsair OPX optical mechanical switches, Axon hyper processing technology, so that's 4,000 Hertz hyper polling rate, full N key rollover and 100% anti-ghosting and there's a customizable control wheel. With specs like that and features such as a 2.0 pass-through port, Nexus compatibility, a wrist rest made of memory foam, 1.5 millimeter thick PBT double shot caps as well as function keys and the usual good stuff, this keyboard is already looking pretty tasty but there is much more to it than that. The quality running through this whole keyboard makes it easy to see why the K100 
100 won the spot at first place. The great build quality is enhanced by that beautifully brushed black anodized aluminium faceplate with that raised back edge and it looks absolutely fantastic. The raised back edge also has the volume scroll wheel towards the right side and it's great for when you need to change volume quickly on the fly. One of the best features is the huge RGB illuminated control wheel between the profile and Windows lock keys. Inside it there's an IQ logo on the center button. There's hardware mode that toggles between four different functions when pressing the IQ logo key in the center and you can control the brightness of your RGB, turn them off, decrease or increase brightness, enable track jogging on compatible applications like Spotify, iTunes and other media players. And finally you can record your macros. So of course we can't go without talking about those switches instead of the usual cherry switches the K100 has Corsair's brand new exclusive OPX linear switches. These are optical mechanical switches that use a beam of infrared light to detect keystrokes with zero debounce. Andy said that he thought the Cherry MX Speed Silvers in his K95 Platinum XT were fast and he couldn't see how they could get any better or faster, but Corsair really outdone themselves here. Corsair's OPX switches managed to knock the Silvers to the sidelines with an actuation distance of just one millimeter, total travel distance of 3.2 millimeters and the same 45G actuation force. And also they have that 150 million click lifespan. The K100 has Corsair's Axon hyper processing technology too. This delivers four times the throughput of current generation keyboard technology. Also that polling rate as mentioned earlier, a whopping 4,000 polling rate, as well as having that IQ software where you can do so much more. I'm sure that you can see that there is a theme running here. There's even more features at position number one and even more traits, even better specs. It looks fantastic, this keyboard, but also the K100 has some knockout features that won it the gold. I don't think we could have gotten any better. Do you? So there we go, Kit Gurus. That is our top five keyboards of 2020. We have included something for everyone with all the price ranges and audiences hopefully covered. Do you agree with what our choices are? If not, we would like to see what you would change them to. We base our opinions of our top five on our scoring system. So if you ever want to see what we have scored the latest tech, make sure you keep an eye out on our website, kitguru.net. At the bottom of our written reviews, you'll see the must have badge, which is our highest score. Second highest score is our worth buying. And thirdly, worth considering. This helps you make those difficult buying decisions, hopefully. So don't forget you can check out the full reviews here on YouTube for all the items mentioned. And make sure you're subscribed and you've hit that notification bell as mentioned earlier. Our merch is below. It's been a pleasure. I'm Christina and I'll see you in the next video here at Kit Guru.